is only the lower jaws which move. It hangs on two hinges. And if you put your fingers on your jaws, just in front of your ears, you can feel your jaws moving. As a matter of fact, you can actually hear them click. Now, you just try it with me. One, two. 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 Ah, ha. Ah, hm. Ah, ha. Oh, oh. Well, that'll be enough of that. Now then, we will go on to the uh, spinal column, commonly known as the backbone. What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't hear him click. Well, take your fingers out of your ears. In any case, we're past the clicks. We're on to the backbone. Oh, <coughs> the backbone. Now, how would you define the backbone, Willie? The backbone is a lot of little knobs, one on top of the other. Your head sits on one end, and um, you sit on the other. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uh, quite true, but very badly expressed. You should have said, your head sits on the top, and you sit on the... Bottom. Bottom, yes. <laughs> that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. <clears throat> now, the forearm is, is hinged at the elbow, and uh, this allows the, the forearm to, to move up and down like that. You see? So it's a quite perfectly free... Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, yes. <clears throat> ah. uh, oh boys, that'll be all for now. Uh, we'll finish with this. Just carry on with the notes I gave you, and uh, Jimmy, put uh, Napoleon away, will you, if you don't mind? I wasn't giving my weekly lesson at the prison this afternoon. I should keep you all in. But don't think I shall forget it. The order Lepidoptera contains more than 50 families of butterflies and moths. The generally accepted distinction between them is that but uh, butterflies fly by day, whereas the moths are nocturnal in habit. Uh, that means, of course, that they go about their business at night. <coughs> Uh, we must remember, however, that they all belong to the order Lepidoptera. I have written the name on the board so that I shall remember, uh, so that you will remember it. Lepidoptera. It comes from the uh, Latin. Pardon me, don't you mean from the Greek? What's that? Don't you mean from the Greek? No, no, from the Latin. I'm afraid you're slightly misinformed. It's from the Greek. Oh, no, no, no. It's from the Latin. You see, uh, uh, when the Latins conquered the Greeks, they... Uh, more or less uh, adopted a lot of their customs, and they uh, uh, took a lot of their words, you see. Uh, the, this was one of the words they pinched, uh, adopted. The Greeks had a word for it, but uh, they liked this one better, that's all. I still say it's from the Greek. And I say it's from the Latin. And if I say it's from the Latin, it's from the Latin. You're new here, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I thought so. Well, when you've been here a little bit longer, you'll catch up with the other boys. It's definitely from the Latin. Letty, meaning butter... And doctor meaning fly. Butter fly. From the Latin. <coughs> the cocoons of most moths are strengthened. Oh, yes. What is it, Brown? The governor says you'll see you now, sir. Oh, oh good, good. Thank you very much. Uh, that will conclude the lesson for today, gentlemen. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Uh, uh, would you help me with my cases, uh, Brown, please? <coughs> Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Yeah. It's from the Greek. Good afternoon. Well? Uh, I wonder if you'd be good enough to write a letter for me. A letter? To whom? Well, I've applied for the headmastership of a big school. What school? Narkova. Do you know what sort of a school that is? Yes. It's a public school, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and this is a public jail. Hmm. But uh, I don't see the connection. Oh? Well, the connection is that when they leave Narkova, about nine-tenths of them come here. Oh, do they? Hmm. Oh. In fact, we had someone from there last week. Yes, here he is. 
Sykes. Oh, Dr. Sykes. Yeah, he was the headmaster. Headmaster? Oh. Here. Is he a fellow with a, a thin face and a longish nose and sort of looks at you like that? Yeah, that's him. Oh, yes, I've seen him. Yes. I had to pull him up over his Latin, uh, Greek. What's he in for? Penmanship was bad. Penmanship? Yeah, I wrote the wrong name to a check. Oh. <clears throat> well, maybe it's his job I'm applying for. Well, as long as we got him here, you might as well go there. Sort of a uh, fair exchange, won't you? <laughs> yes. Oh, Brown, take a letter, will you? Very good, sir. The governors of Narkova School. Gentlemen, I have known Dr. Alexander Smart, uh, M.A., <coughs> M.A., for some time. For a long uh, time. For a long time. And consider that he is... Uh, the ideal person. The ideal person to be headmaster of Narkova School. Have you got that? Yes, sir. Yours sincerely. Oh, you might just say that I'm a, a very strict disciplinarian. With regard to his ability to keep order and discipline... I think that he... Uh, don't you think it would be better to say, I'm sure? Is, is that little... I'm little... sure that he will give every satisfaction. Yes, and you might say that I've been teaching here for two years, and that... Uh, Yours I... sincerely, etc., etc., etc. I've never had any trouble with the... Uh, uh, oh. oh, well, thank you very much. You don't mention it. Good day. No, oh, I'll wait for the letter. Brown is leaving you today, as a matter of fact, and he'll bring the letter over to you. Oh, well, I could save him the walk. Oh, the walk will do him good. Are these yours? Yes, they are. Yes, let me open the door for you. Thank you, Pat. Gentlemen, I cannot express the honour I feel in taking over the headmastership of this world-famous uh, school. I shall always try to maintain the traditions and... Uh, oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh. <coughs> ah, come in, Brown. Good evening, Professor. Good evening. The governor sent me over with your letter. Oh, good. Oh, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's sealed up. Yeah. You know, Brown, you've no idea what this letter means to me. There's no telling where they'll get me. Why, that's, that's very likely a stepping stone. A stepping stone, Brown. More likely a stumbling block. Eh? You don't know what's in that letter. Oh, yes, I do. Why, I practically dictated all of it. Ah, but I didn't write down all you dictated. Eh? No. The governor wrote one of his own after you left. And that's it. But isn't that the one I dictated? Oh, dear, no. Here's the one you dictated. Oh, so it is. Hmm. Well, what's in this one? Would you like to see? Yes. <clears throat> oh, wait, 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 what are you, oh, you going to do? Oh, oh, I shouldn't do that. Uh, no, that's opening it. Uh, maybe the governor wouldn't want me to... Uh, he wouldn't want me to see what, it, what, what was in it, you see. <clears throat> Gentlemen... Fairness to you and your school, I regret to say I could not possibly recommend Dr. Alexander Smart. Oh, didn't even put the M.A. Not much of a stepping stone, is it? No, <laughs> I think stumbling block is more like it. Yeah. Why don't you send this one? But the governor didn't sign it. Oh, no, so he never. Hmm, pity. Yes. Where's your pen? I can fix it. Could you? Uh, I, I mean, what, what do you mean? Well, I could write his name as good as he can. Oh, but that, that would be forgery, wouldn't it? Oh, what about it? Oh, no, I, I couldn't agree to that. Well, that would be getting a job under false pretenses, wouldn't it? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Well, I've never done anything dishonest in my life before. Besides, uh, <clears throat> this would be a very difficult signature to copy, wouldn't it? Think so? Watch me. Yeah, like a stew peas in a pot. Oh, that's marvellous, isn't yeah, it? Isn't it? Oh, absolutely. That's wonderful. A gift, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, I, I'll bet the governor himself couldn't tell those apart. Well, he's never been able to before. Yeah. Ah. Go on, now, why don't you send it? No, 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 I, I, I couldn't. But we'll have a cup of tea. Oh, thanks very much. Yes. Hmm. <coughs> Certainly very much alike, aren't they? <laughs> you know, I'd like you to get that job. I'm an old Narcovian myself. Are you really? Hmm. Hmm. I've got a boy there now. Oh, is that so? And you'd be a good influence to him. 
You know, he's inclined to be a bit wild. Mm, pity. Mm. Well, I'd like to be there, but uh, in view of this letter, you know, it's... Uh, well, why don't you send this one? Uh, oh, no, no, I couldn't. Oh, no. You know, if that letter had been in the envelope instead of this one, I... Uh, how many lumps? Four. Here you are. Oh, thanks. <coughs> oh, I say, you put in the letter that you signed. What of it? Well, now you've got to send it. Oh, no, no, I couldn't. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Why, why, I wouldn't sleep at a... Have you got a stamp? No. Oh, well, maybe I have. I'll buy one. Well, oh, I say, you, you haven't had your tea. You drink it. I don't care how good his references are, Lady Dawkins, but I don't consider that you and the rest of the board had any right to engage a headmaster whilst I was out hunting. Well, surely you couldn't expect us to wait until you'd finished running about after Fox. I shouldn't have gone, but I took it for granted that our assistant headmaster, Mr. Finch, would be promoted. Uh, Mr. Finch is not a strong enough character. I disagree with you. He's a man of very strong character, uh, like myself. I don't suppose you're influenced by the fact that he's your nephew. Uh, no, but I was merely thinking of the welfare of the school. So are we. That's why we've engaged Dr. Smart. He's due here within the hour, and I think when you meet him, you'll agree with our decision. Mm, I shan't be here to meet him. You engaged him. You meet him. Good day. Good hunting. Eh? Oh. <laughs> the colonel's a wee bit crusty this morning. <laughs> I know are so dear to you all. I shall, uh... How much? Seven. Two and six, please. Follow in the footsteps. Pardon me, Governor. Five shillings. Five shillings? Five shillings. Five shillings. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes, certainly. Thank you very much. As I was saying, I shall endeavour to follow in the footsteps of your late headmaster, Dr. Sykes, uh, whom I've had the pleasure of meeting. Go and, on! Uh, I, I shall always try to be just and upright and... <laughs>
arrived. Let's greet him in a body. Yes, he has. Where is he? Oh, boys, uh, come on now. Uh, a joke's a joke. Why, Dr. Smart, what are you doing up there? Ah! <laughs> oh, Dr. Smart. <laughs> oh, how do you do? I'm Lady Dorking. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> how do you do? How do you do? Welcome to Narkova. Yes, what a welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes. I do hope the boys haven't been too demonstrative. Oh, no, no. Boys will be boys, you know. A humble token of our respect, sir. <clears throat> thank you. Would you uh, accept those with my compliments? Oh, thank you, Doctor. Oh. Uh, shall we go inside? Yes, yes. Well, um, thank you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting here for half an hour. Oh, I've been feeding my rabbits, Uncle. Rabbits? Yes. You know, I started with Rover and only one other rabbit. Now I've got 17. Isn't it marvelous? Fiddlesticks! And whilst you've been messing about with your rabbits, I've been fighting to get you the headmastership. Oh, is it settled then? Yes. Oh, Spenny, when do I take over? You don't. Yeah. What? They engaged another man whilst I was out hunting. Oh, Uncle, if you hadn't been hunting for well, me... Damn it, sir, a man must hunt. But I'll show them they can't put anything over on me, hunting or no hunting. Well, it's a very great disappointment to me, Uncle. To me, Uncle Don't you worry. I... I'll have that man out and you in before they know where they are. Mr. Prince, Lady Dorking wants to see you in the library. Very well. Hold on, your Uncle. What? Mm. Ah. Gotcha! <coughs> <coughs> Uh, you sent to me, Lady Dorking? Oh, oh yes, Mr. Pinkham. Uh, this is Dr. Smart, our new... <coughs> headmaster. Uh, Dr. Smart, this is Mr. Finch, your assistant. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, <coughs> How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Mr. Finch, will you show Dr. Smart his quarters and introduce him to the <coughs> other masters? Shoot! <coughs> oh. Certainly, Lady Dorking. Uh, will you come this way? Yes, yes thank you. <coughs> uh, good day, good day. Uh, this way. Oh. What is your full name, Doctor? Uh, Alexander Smart, M.A. Why? Well, we should want to put it on the roll of honor when you leave. When I leave? But, but I, I, I only used to write here. Yes, but the job has to be done very quickly. This is your study. Oh. You see, you may not be here very long. No. Good morning, Dr. Smart. Oh, good morning. You're taking the sixth form this morning, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes. Oh, oh boys. Could you tell me where the sixth form classroom is? Uh, through the cloisters and turn to the right. Uh, through the cloisters and to the right. Yes. Right. <coughs> right. Come on, boy. Put him out 
What do you think we're playing for? Nuts? Didn't you mean you're playing cards for money? Yes. Well, how dare you do that? What's it got to do with you? Yeah. Well, seeing that I'm your headmaster, I think it's got a lot to do with me. You boys have had far too much liberty. There's one or two things I'm going to put a stop to. And this uh, card playing is one of them. Oh, so you're going to stop us playing cards, are you? Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to make a few other alterations, too. I'm sure that my name's Alexander Smart. Go on, punch him on the nose. Yeah. No, we don't want any rough stuff. Not yet. Now, look here, Alec. Smart, Alec. I think there's one or two things you better know before we go any farther. If we want to play cards, we play cards. Don't we, boys? Yes. yes. And if you want to stay here any length of time, and you want a nice, quiet job, just mind your own business. You'll be all right. But if you don't, you'll get a kick in the neck. Come on, boys. Come on, put him up again. Put him out again. Sorry, if I if I said anything I I, I shouldn't have said, I uh, I beg your pardon. It's the uh, I'm new at this school. I don't know the ropes yet. Buds off, buds off. I say, are you the six four boy? Yes, not about. I went on that one. Oh, I think it's uh, not much use for going into class by myself, is it? Would you like to join in the game? Joining what game? This game. What uh, gambling? Yes. With for money? Yes. Yes, yes. rather, oh, yes. What are, you, what are you playing? Banker. You know it? I, I've heard of it, yes. Oh, we'll soon show you. Right. <coughs> I'll make it easy for you. Good, that's right. Look, put out three packs. Yes. Now, you can pick out any of the three packs and put your money on. Yeah, I mean, I can pick it. Yeah, you must leave me one. Huh? Okay, Smithy? I'll leave you this one. Right, that one's mine. Oh, and I can put money on the others, is that yep. it? Yeah. All right, well, I'll have, uh, I'll have half a crown on that and half a crown on this. Only half a crown? Well, I don't know the game yet, do I? All right. Ace, I win. Yeah, wait, wait a minute. I don't follow this, you know. You no sooner put the cards out, it's all over. Oh, that's all right. You'll soon pick it up. Yeah. Well, I'm not picking up much yet, am I? Well, I'll put them out again. Yeah, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I put them out? Yes, it'll be just the same. Ah, oh, no. Just the same? Yes. Well, I see. I can't win at all. Oh, you may do, with luck. Oh, that's all right. Come on, come on. Oh, wait, I'll get him out. Now, there you are. May I ask what you're supposed to be doing? Well, if it's any interest to you, I was playing cards. Uh, playing cards? Hmm. Have you got nothing better to do than to be playing cards? Haven't you anything better to do than interfere in other people's business? This is not over school, and I'm the headmaster. This is private property. You've got no idea at all, sir. I don't know who you are, but just because those gates have to be open doesn't say you can come in here and do just as you like. But I, if you want to walk around the school and have a look around, that's all right. Only don't poke your nose into other people's business. Good day. Well, why? What a mug he is for a head mug. What a gift to knock over. I hope he's got plenty of money. I hope he's got a checkbook. Well, you get his checkbook and I'll get his autograph. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, gentlemen, that I think it was a very unsportsmanlike thing of you to do to run away just because you were winning my money. Very unsportsmanlike indeed. In fact, it was a dirty trick. We didn't run away because we were winning your money. Oh, yes, you did. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. No, we did. Yes, you did. No, we did. I say you did. All right, we're playing now. Come on, then. Yes, sir. All right, come on, put them out. Come on, four pack. Four. Four, yeah. Four, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Right. Easy, look, look, we didn't come in because we were in here. No, no, I know. 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 What are you doing? You keep your hands to yourself. Leave the cards alone. Leave him that one. This one? Yes. All right, this is mine. Now put your money on. Come on. Uh, well, putting on that one. All right, come on. Oh, yeah. All right, come on. Come here. Come on. 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 Oh, dear, I win, don't I? Oh, well, well. What do you want to leave him an ace for? I couldn't help it. They're all aces. Yes. Uh, oh, are they? Yes. No, no, they can't be all ace, ace. Well, well, would you believe it? Four aces. Well, that's marvelous, isn't it? Only four in a pack. I mean, it's very lucky. First, you faked it. First time. What? You fixed those cards. Who did? You did. Are you accusing me of cheating? Well, you planted those aces. Planted ace. Planted. Now, how can I plant ace? That's absolutely ridiculous. Well, put them out again. Said, all right. We'll watch you this time. Yeah, Come on, yeah, yeah. this time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But my dear Lady Dorking, I actually caught him playing cards with the boys. And he has the impertinence to tell me to mind my own business. Yes, I think you'd better come over here at once. In the meanwhile, I'll see him myself. Tell Dr. Alexander Smart I'd like to see him here at once. Yes, Uncle Roger. Oh, it's so sorry. Please excuse that. I mean, yes. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'll shuffle those myself. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Thank you very much. Have a mind again. There we are. That's four. Down. Oh, I know, I know, which is yours. This is mine. Yeah. Huh? Oh, a king. A king? Fancy that. Yes, king. Uh, oh, uh, yes, uh, the kings of England who, uh, who reign from... Uh, what, yes, Mr. Finch, what is it? Oh, Colonel Crabley wants to see you in the library immediately. Colonel Crabley? Who's he? Oh, he's vice chairman of the board of governors. Oh, is he? Yes. Oh, oh, well, I'll, I'll come straight away. All right, boys, we'll carry on with the game, uh, with the lesson after I, uh, when I get back. And uh, just go back to your places and put down all that I've told you. Crabbly, Crabbly. I don't remember the name. Did I meet him at the reception yesterday? Oh, no, he wasn't there. Oh. Oh, it's, it's very nice of him to come over and see me, isn't it? Yes. So I mustn't poke my nose into other people's business, eh? Come here. Uh, well, you see, uh, it's, uh, as a matter of fact, the... the, the, the uh, well, how are you, Colonel? Sit down. Lady Dorking, had you elected headmaster of this school against my will? Yes. And on the first day, not only do I find you playing cards with the boys, but you had the impudence to insult me, sir. Yeah, I was only doing my job. I, uh, Your job, sir, is to teach the boys lessons, not to teach them how to play cards. That's quite right, Uncle Roger. I wasn't teaching them how to play cards. But yes, you were. Nothing of the kind. Uh, they were teaching me. Well, of all that... I don't believe a word you say. And if it's the last thing I do, I'll have you thrown out of Narkova right on your... right on your own resources. My dear Colonel, think of your blood pressure. Blood pressure? How do you do, Dr. Smart? Uh, how do you do, Lee? How do you do? <laughs> Is this little misunderstanding between you boys? Well, I well, found the I was going to play back. I saw the boys break the boys. One at a time. Uh, well, my dear lady talking, it was like this. Yes, uh, I think perhaps we'd better hear Dr. Smart first. Oh, well, uh, you see, I, I was uh, going across to my classroom, and I, I caught some of the boys uh, playing cards. Well, naturally, I was very annoyed, and I took the cards away from them and reprimanded them. He did not go the kind. He had the cards in his hand, and he was going like this. Is that so, Doctor? Uh, oh, yes, yes, I, I was doing that, but I... Uh, you see, being my first day at the school, I, I didn't wish to be too severe, and I thought to smooth matters over, I, I was showing them just a few tricks. Oh, I love card tricks. Would you show me some? Yes, yes, yes. I Good. Like Colonel, have your pack of cards? Uh, oh, well, um, I, I have the cards I took from the boy. Now, this is quite a simple trick. You put out four lots like that, you see, and 
the idea is to bet on... Uh, <coughs> you, uh, you, you've got to guess where the four aces are. Of course, the point of the trick is that the aces are not in the pack at all. Oh, then where are they? Well, you see, they're, uh, they're like that, you see? There they are. <laughs> oh, that's awfully good, isn't it, Colonel? <laughs> oh, well, that explains everything. <laughs> we mustn't keep Dr. Smart from his class any longer. Uh, will you see me to my car, Doctor? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, do take the dog for me, would you? Yes, yes, <laughs> Thank <sir>. you. <laughs> but my dear lady Dawkins, the man's an imposter. Colonel, mind your blood pressure. What? Come here. My old man. I'll be right back. Push in. Hello, Dad. Well, I've been you sprung up since I see you last. Oh, well, it's a long time. Yeah, so it is. What are you doing out so soon? Oh, good conduct remission. I think your tricks are awfully amusing. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> you mustn't mind the Colonel. He's no sense of humour. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that. How do you like your new headmaster? Oh, he's a bit of a mug. He doesn't know much. Thank you. Well, I'll see you on Friday, Founders Day. Founders Day? Yes, didn't you know? No. Yes, Friday's our big day. We celebrate the founding of the school. Oh. <laughs> oh, we had lots of fun. Ah. I'll come over during the morning in case you need any help. Who's the old girl? That's Lady Dawkins. Don't you remember? I wrote you about her and her diamonds. Oh, that's her, is it? Yeah. Here. Yeah. How have you been spending your time with all that stuff walking about loose? Well, she only wears them on special occasions. Goodbye. Goodbye. When's the next special occasion? Friday, Founders Day. See you Friday. Hello, Governor. Hello. <coughs> Hello, Brown. How are you? Oh, I'm nicely, thank you. yourself? Oh, very well. What are you doing up here? Well, I just came down to have a look at my boy, you know, and to see how you were getting on. Ah, ah. Oh, I see that letter done the trick all right. Yeah. Uh, yes, it did, yes. Thank you very much. I shall always be very grateful to you. Is there anything I can ever do for you, Brown? Just well, as a matter of fact, there is something you can do for me. Huh? Yes, I rather like the old place, you know. I think you'd better give me a job here. Well, I, I, I'm just new here myself. Oh, I, I don't mind what it is, you know. Any kind of job, inside job, outside job, I'm used to both kinds. Yes, of course, yes. <clears throat> well, after all, you know, one good turn deserves another. Yes, I suppose it does. Besides, if anybody should get suspicious about that letter... Well, I mean to say, I should be on right on the spot, see? To prove that the governor dictated it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Even though he didn't sign it. No, uh, no. Why, do you think anybody might suspect? Well, you never know, you know. And after all, it'd be safer if I was here, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, I suppose he would. Well, then we'll call that settled. Yes, yes. <coughs> all right, uh, all right, Brown. Here, just a moment. What about a bit in advance? Can it spare a quid? <coughs> we'll make it two. Seaport is Shanghai. <coughs> Stand up. You stand up. <coughs> Don't do that again. Uh, 
Now, as I was saying, the capital of, P uh, the, of China is uh, Pekin, and it stands uh, just there. <coughs> no. There. Now, China is bounded on the north by uh, Manchukuo, Manchu uh, by Manchukuo, Manchu 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 and on the south by Tibet. Now, the people of Manchu uh, uh, the people of Manchu up here and uh, the people down here are much shorter than the people over there. Over there, they are much shorter than the people of China. There. How high is the Chinaman? What was it? How high is a Chinaman? H how high is a Chinaman? Yes. How high? Well, it's, it's a silly sort of a thing to say, isn't it? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Huh? No. It well, isn't. how high is a Chinaman? Yes. Well, it, it, it depends on the Chinaman, doesn't it? I mean, it's just as ridiculous as saying, um, uh, 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 well, how long is a tack? <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. How high is a Chinaman? That's got to beat, Governor. Listen, I don't want any familiarity from you. That's quite enough. Listen, you can't say how high is a Chinaman. Yes, sir. No, there's no sense in it. Yes, there is. Oh, no, this is absolute rubbish. It doesn't matter. Well, all right, if you're so smart, how high is a Chinaman? Yes. What? Yes. Well, that's not answering my question, is it? You didn't ask me a question. Oh, yes, I did. No, you didn't. I said, how high is a Chinaman? That's not a question. Well, it's the same question that you asked me. I didn't ask you a question. Yeah. Oh, he said he didn't ask me a question. He did, didn't he? No. Certainly, what do you mean, no? He, he said, how high is it? Didn't he ask me a question? Yes, 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 I simply said, how high is a Chinaman? How high is his name? And he's a Chinaman. And he keeps a laundry. Who does? How high? <laughs> yes, well, you see, you misled me. That was the trouble. It was the way you said it that was wrong. You said, how high is a Chinaman? Now, if you'd said, how high... Is a child. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take singing. Uh, Fox, come back for me at five o'clock. No, no. Make it five fifteen. Yes, five fifteen would be better. Very good, my lady. Is Doctor Smart in his classroom? Huh? Oh, 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 yes, my lady. Step this way. Allow me. Good morning, Dr. Smart. Oh, good morning, Lady Doctor. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Oh, Dr. Smart, there are one or two little things I want to discuss about the ceremony. <laughs> uh, shall we go to your study? Oh, yes, yes, certainly. Yes. Uh, Brown, uh, tell Mr. Finch to come and take my class, will you, please? Well, boys, I'll see you at lunch. Okay. Thank you. Now, boys, just uh, carry on and uh, not too much noise, you know. you handle the boys, Doctor. You seem to have won their respect very quickly. Um, oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> well, it's all in the way you do things, you know. You have to be firm. Yes, otherwise they, they think you're a... Smart Alec is a gump. Who's Smart Alec, Doctor? Oh, uh, well, it's, a, oh, it's just a little a pet name the boys have for me, that's all. Oh, uh, and what's a gump? Well, uh, a gump is, um... Uh, let me see now, it's from the Latin. Uh, no, the Greek. It's uh, gump, uh, gumpus, gumpi, gump, uh, gumpolium, gumpolio, gumpipple. Um, uh, first person singular. Yeah, it means a friend in need. That's it. Yeah. Friend in need. Yes. Mm, a gump. <laughs> yes, I should think that's just what you are. A real gump. Oh, oh yes, very nice of you to say so. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Gump. Oh, I like that word. It just fits you. Friend in need. <laughs> you know, Doctor, I've been looking for a gump for a long time. A widow's life's a very lonely one, especially if she's rich. 
Don't you believe it? Eh? Oh, oh, I said I can quite believe it. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> yes, it's very lonely. Yes, I suppose there's nothing, nothing quite so lonely as, uh, uh, well, being alone, is there? Oh, what a sweet... Oh, uh, did you ring, sir? No. No, Brown? No. Oh. Oh, uh, hadn't I better clean this off, sir? Oh, yes, thank you, Brown, yes. Uh, shut the door, Brown. Hey. Oh, uh, very good, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, Lady Dorking, what is the exact procedure for Founders' Day ceremony? Well, after lunch, we have the school song and the usual presentation. Presentation? Yes. As chairman, I shall receive from the boys some little memento of the occasion, and I, in return, give the school a new rugby ball, which they use in the match against the old boys. Oh. oh. As a matter of fact, the boys have asked me to captain the school team this afternoon. <laughs> Splendid. That just shows what a gump they think you are. Yes, uh, yes I, uh, I believe you're right. Yes. Did you call, sir? No, I didn't call, Brown. Oh. Why, yes, must you play me tricks? Yes, I think they are. <coughs> that reminds me, Doctor. You promised to show me some more tricks. Oh, yes, so I did, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, do you know any of those tricks where you uh, make things disappear? You know, you think it's there, and it's not. It's somewhere else. And then you look again, and there it is. Well, uh, yes. Well, I, I know a trick with a, with a watch. Oh, do show me. Is, oh, right. Oh, it's uh, it's quite good. Uh, oh dear. Oh, one of the boys has borrowed my watch. Uh, oh, this, uh, oh well, use my watch, Doctor. Uh, thank you. Here we are. There. Yes. Now you. Uh, oh. <coughs> yes. Well, uh, it's quite simple. You see, you fold the you fold the watch into the handkerchief like that. You see. Yes. Wrap it up like that very carefully. You see. And over again like that, and then over again. You see. Now mm -hmm. feel the watch is in there. It's there, isn't yes. it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I put it down there, and I take the ruler. See? I say, Alagazar, Alagazi, Alagazam. Oh, 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 Doctor! Oh, it's all right, it's all right. See? It's gone. There it isn't. Is it? That's Mum! Yes. <laughs> Where is it? Aha, you just watch. Oh, yes. but that's too marvelous, Doctor. <laughs> Do you do it? Very clever, isn't it? Very, very cute. Yes. Very What's cute. There? What do you want, Brown? Oh, how do you do, Colonel? How do you do? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, that's just right. Thank right. you. <laughs> oh, Colonel, the doctor's just shown me the most astounding trick with a watch. Yeah, give me your watch. Huh? Now show the Colonel the trick. Yes. <laughs> oh, you'll love this. It's so clever. Well, it's, it's just a, a simple little thing, Colonel. You put yes. the watch in the handkerchief like that, and you fold it up, you see? Carefully. <laughs> Now, just feel the watch is still in the handkerchief. That's right. Now, uh, oh, would you like to do the hitting? Oh, I'd love to. And you're not going to hit my watch? Yes. You can't do that. That was presented to me by the old Barclay Hunt. Oh, don't worry. You'll get such a surprise, won't you, Doctor? Yes, yes. Now, uh, are you ready? Yes. Ah, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, Alagaza, Alagazi, Alagazi. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, don't worry, Colonel. That's just part of the trick. You wait till you see it. Now, show him, Doctor. Oh, now, quick. Yeah. Ah! My watch! Oh, dear. Oh. Doctor, what went wrong? Well, I, I think you hit it too soon, you know. You didn't wait for the alagazam. Oh. Alagazam! <laughs> what nonsense! I never heard... I believe you did it on purpose. Oh, oh Doctor, it's impossible. Well, I wouldn't do anything like that. The saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's a little unreasonable, you know. You can't explain you know. it. I think must break somewhere. Listen, oh. Colonel, I did the hitting after all, and yeah. said I'm sorry. Now, come along. We've got lots to do before now. Your watch. Ah! Oh, Doctor, you know, I, I'm awfully sorry I ruined your little trick. Oh. But uh, don't let the watch worry you. It was probably only a presentation one. <laughs> uh, come on, Colonel. And the Doctor will show you the trick some other time, won't you, Doctor? Oh, I'd love to, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, Doctor, I'll see you at the lunch. Yes, so uh, we shall have a nice time, I hope. <laughs> Well, that saved me a lot of hard work, that is. What has? You getting that old girl's necklace like that. What are you talking about? Come off it. It's in your pocket. In my pocket? Yeah, you know where the one it is. What do you... What do you, what do you... Well, how did that get there? Oh, <laughs> I couldn't have done it better myself. You'd have I been hanging around all the morning trying to get me hands on it, and you get it just like that. Are you, are you suggesting I stole it? I ain't suggesting. I know you did. I see you do it. 
You saw nothing of the kind. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, all right, then you come with me and you'll see me give it back. Here. You ain't going to give that back. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you ain't. Oh, yes, I am. If you do, I'll swear I see you pinch it. That you're only giving it back because I see you. Well, I shall deny it. Oh, all right, you deny it. And I'll tell him about the forged reference. Yeah, you can't deny that, can you? Come on, hand it over. No, I won't. Oh? No. <laughs> Girl, I really am awfully sorry about your watch. But it was fun to go. Wait a minute. Where's your diamond necklace? What? Oh, I must have dropped it somewhere. Well, you certainly had it on when you were in smart study a moment ago. Did I? I'm quite positive. Perhaps it's another of his conjuring tricks. Come on. Now, come on. Hand over that necklace. No, I'm not going to. Why not, though? No, I'm not going to. I wonder what it'll go off. Come I on, I'm not going to do after them. I don't care what you say. Come I'm, I'm not going to let you have it. I, uh, I, I'm not going to let you have today off. You can have next Wednesday, but not today. Uh, uh, Lady Dockey, uh, have you uh, forgotten something? Uh, Lady Dockey has lost a very valuable diamond necklace. She must have dropped it in here somewhere. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, that's it. Well, we'd better help her look for it, hadn't we? Uh, come on, Val. Uh -huh. I want to get it back. Now. Well, it doesn't seem to be here, is it? Uh, Perhaps you lost it before you came in. Perhaps I did. I distinctly remember you had it on when he was doing that watch trick. It must have dropped somewhere about here. Well, we don't seem to be here. We've looked everywhere, haven't we? We haven't looked everywhere yet. Eh? You don't mind being searched, do you? Searched? What oh, for? Colonel, don't be ridiculous. You never know. It might have got into one of his pockets. Or one of his conjuring tricks, eh? Doctor, humour him. Go on, let him search you. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> very ridiculous, sir. <laughs> It isn't there. Well, of course it isn't. Well, I hope you're satisfied. I think you owe Dr. Smart an apology. Well, I only searched him as a matter of form. Oh, well, perhaps you wouldn't mind me searching you as a matter of form. I mean, what sauce for the goose, you know, is goose for the... for the... Uh, whatever it is. Uh, oh! <laughs> ah. Well, are you quite satisfied? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's another pocket here. <laughs> Why, it's not there. Of course it isn't. I wish I knew where it was. So do I. I think we ought to send for the police. But whatever for? Well, we're all under suspicion. I'm under suspicion. And I think it's only fair to me that... Hi! You, wait a minute. I haven't searched you yet. Oh, he's not a conjurer, are you, my man? No, my lady. I do invitations. Well, it's got to be found. Here you. Give me that. No. It isn't there? You haven't looked in here. It isn't there. Well, I hope you're satisfied now. I still think we ought to send for the police. Well, I should do nothing of the kind. Why, we should have them running about all over the place. It, it would completely ruin Founders' Day. Well, I shall call them in after the match. All right. If it doesn't turn up before, then you can have it your own way. Mm. Now let's go. I want to see the decorations. Uh, all right, Brown, you can leave those. Uh, just show Lady Dorking the decorations. Yes, please. Such a fuss about nothing. It's sure to turn up. Come along, Brown. Oh, uh, yes, Billy. I still think I left it at
Where is it? Eh? Where is it? Where's what? The necklace. I put it in that decanter. Did you? Yes, you know jolly well I did. And you're the only one who's been in the room since. Come on, I hand it over. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know it was in the decanter. I don't... Mr. Finch wants to know when you're coming back, sir. Oh, oh I'll come now. I'll come right now. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know it was in the decanter. I, I didn't think it was all about it. I don't know where it's gone to. I mean, you had it last. If you've lost it, well, you can't blame me. Come on, I've got to go to my class. Now, look here. Hope Puddin Face is to have the police here by 4.30. So I'm giving you to 4 o'clock to find them jewels and hand them over to me. And if you don't, I'll knock your... Yes, but uh, Lady Dawkins might find them myself. By accident. Well, if she do, the accident will happen to you. Maybe I'll sign it in Chinese. <laughs> Oh, well, boys, what is it? Uh, this is the present we're giving to Lady Dorking, and we'd like you to sign the scroll that goes with it. Oh. Yes, pleasure. Yes. Yes. Can't you hold this for me? Ah, yeah. oh, can I see the present? Yes. Oh, this is very nice. Very nice. Very pretty. What is it? It's a jewel case. A jewel case? Oh, oh yes. Very useful. In fact, uh, just the thing. Uh, would you boys like a cigarette? Uh, you'll find some on the table. That's yeah. all right. Help yourself. Come on. Right. Yeah. <coughs> mm. Very, very nice indeed. Yes. <coughs> Who presents that? Well, that's my job. Oh, dear. Oh, well, it's quite an honor. In fact, there couldn't be a better person. <coughs> She'll get quite a surprise when she uh, receives that, won't she? Hello, how are you? Oh, yeah. All right. Which way? Which way? Hello, Baker. Hello, what's the idea? Hello, Baker. That's a Well, if it ain't the big brother, Boo. Here, yeah, what'd you tell Moya you was up? What are you doing here? I want something good. I'll tell you later. Mum's the word. Okay. Kids play to open that lock. I could have picked it when I was eight years old. Knockover to our annual Founders Day luncheon. Uh, thank you. I'm going to call upon the uh, on the school quartet to give us the knockover anthem, and I would like you all to join in the chorus in the right places. Every time we get the cane, 
upon the head boy, Sewell Brown, to make the presentation to her ladyship. You're going to get a big surprise, Lady Dee. Call me Violet. <laughs> uh, Lady Dorking, the bo- uh, were we, uh, that is, the, the um, oh, we are. Thank you for this marvellous case. I don't intend to make a long speech. <laughs> oh, yes, and, and I want to present this beautiful new football for the Founders' Day match. And, and may the best team win. <laughs> Thanks. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Open it. Uh, Cyril, come here. Uh, come along, come here. Come here. That's right. <coughs> yes, sir? Uh, I, I'd just like to... Um, uh, I'd like to discuss the line-up of the team with you. Uh, do you mind waiting? Just here, wait for me there. Will you please? That's right, just... Uh, I don't know. Stay there. <coughs> Well, I suppose you're all very anxious to see the match, so uh, we'll adjourn. I was just teaching him a few tackles. I see. <laughs> yeah, I've come for the ball. 
Oh, there it is. I see. Good heavens, you're not ready. And the match starts in five minutes. Well, you'll have to hurry up. I mean, see, you, you can't keep him waiting like that, you know. Oh, I, I'll be there soon. Come in. Come in. I don't know anything about it. You know a lot more about it than you should know. Well, I'll see you after the match. Wait. What were you trying to tell me? That I had the necklace. What? Where is it? I had to hide it in the football. Football? Yes, now the referee's got it. <laughs> hey, Cyril. Yes, sir? Come on, we're nearly ready to start. Come in, sir. That's right. Come on. Keep your eye on that ball. Bet your life. Now, listen to me. Quiet, boy. Now, listen to me now. We're only playing a bunch of kids, see? So no kicking in the face. Oh, yeah, right. now I right. know. Uh, yeah, you got to... <laughs> well, that's uh, wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on, boys. Let's look blind. Don't forget to sing a little bit. Don't wait up for me, James. <laughs> yes, Sparky. Take off them dogs. What for? Well, I'm going to play in your place. You're not. Now, come on. I'll take them over. I'll stock you. You're what? You hurt. <laughs> Time the match started. What time is it, Colonel? <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> what time is it, Mr. Finch? Yes, that's right. to call. Uh, he can go. Yeah. You call. Yeah. We'll play this way. Where'd you go? I, I don't think you could have tossed it up. <coughs> Didn't I? No. Well. We'll play that way. Um, Our ball. Well, that's an extraordinary thing. Right away. Pounds with the diamonds in that football. Yeah? Yes. The old geezer's necklace. Go on. We've got to get hold of them before anybody else does. Right. Oh, I see, yes. Uh, 
Myself with me own mince pies. With you what? With me own eyes. Oh. Yes. She drops it, he picks it up, slips it in his pocket. Go and on, the... punch him on the nose. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I will. Yeah. 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 